Uh, good morning wherever you are. This is Dr. Michael Hoffman from Sober Buddha Counseling with another chapter in dog park therapy. Here I am at the park with you know who, Mr. Brown. Say hi, Mr. Brown. Uh, he's consulting with somebody else. So, uh, today's topic is a tough one. It's about how a family with an addicted loved one tries to cope with constant relapsing. I'm going to tell you what I firmly believe. Unless a person who is addicted can be kept away from their substance for months at a time, and I don't mean one month in a rehab, I mean six months or longer. If they can't get that kind of break, their brain doesn't have a chance to heal, and they can't practice any new life skills, so they end up relapsing. But that leaves the family with the issue. So my loved one, addicted loved one, relapses and disappears for a week and then calls me in tears on the phone saying, can I please come home? And then, of course, the family will take them back. And they are okay for a while. They're repentant and they start to feel a little better. But then the call of the craving comes and off they go again and the family worries all over again. Is my loved one going to be safe? Uh, will he die? Will she get kidnapped? What will happen? And the, person, the addict is gone for a while, then calls back, says, can I come home? And it starts over and over. Now, most families don't have the they don't make the choice to abandon the person they love. It's just not a thing primates do. So people tend to always bring the addict back in and try to help. And some people call this enabling. I'd call it being human. But here's a, here's a different take on it. If the addict doesn't respond to all the other kinds of treatment you give them, then they no matter what you try to do, they don't stay sober. It's possible for you to decide, you the family, that you're going to have a life with this addicted loved one of constant relapse, constant worry, and constant risk of them dying or having some other tragic, uh, hi Brown, uh, tragic problem. But that becomes, that's an insight you get after you've gone through this loop enough times. That's what addiction is about. It's a disease. It keeps coming back. So it is possible, actually, if, if you cannot abandon your addict, you may have to accept a lifestyle of them as a perpetually relapsing individual. Hopefully they hit some kind of bottom where the relapses are intolerable and they quit, but there's, there's no guarantee of that. But I just want you to think about this. Is it possible that you could quit looking for miracles and let the, the spirit and soul of that addicted person go through the addictive process to whatever end it is? while you do what you can to try to make them safe. But you don't wish for a miracle. You don't hope it won't be there one day when you wake up. You continue to love that person and you let their addiction take its course. I realize this is a pretty controversial point of view, but I've seen it infinite numbers of times where families go through this cycle of watching the relapse, feeling terrible and worrying, then nurturing the addict again. And sometimes accepting that and letting that be the pattern is the only way to go. I know it's tough, but addiction to disease, it's a spiritual psychosocial disease and there's really no chemical solution for it that I know of. Though I have seen a lot of success with the use of uh, medicines like Vivitrol and Naltrexone. I do think those can be very helpful. Thank you for watching and listening. And Mr. Brown says, where is he? There he is. Mr. Brown says goodbye too. Bye.